What's going on, everyone? So the studio's green. Our money tree's growing tall. Quantum did insane today. We're even having a, a freaking Sprite Zero that's green because today was quite green. I asked Coco today what her thoughts were on quantum entanglement and she said it bores her. She said she gets bored by it. She's a tough, tough to please. What do you think? What do you think of quantum entanglement? What do you think? It's really cool. It's really cool. We had a crazy day in the stock market. Crazy day for quantum computer stocks. That was, that's what we're here for. I got a little hair on the microphone. That's what we're here for. We're here to talk about quantum computers and quantum stocks. And we just got to celebrate days like today. I mean, we got to take our wins because to be honest, it's been rough the past month or so. So we got to celebrate a little bit. Take the celebration into the weekend, you know, go out and buy an extra cheeseburger. Uh, do that thing you've always been wanting to do. Um, just celebrate this moment because, you know, we, 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 we <laughs> we're in a, um, the thing is we don't know what the future holds. Okay. We just know that we had a really good day. So, um, and we know that the quantum stocks can be difficult to hold at times. They go up and down, but a day like this is super encouraging, super energizing. So I hope all of you shared in some of the success today. And if you're new to the channel or interested in quantum stocks, we cover them almost every day. Um, it's just fun to talk about there. It's just a new technology that's coming out and it's going to change the world and money is going to be pouring into it on the investment side, on the research side, on the government side. So what do we make of today? So today in, in this video, we're going to cover price action of QQQ. We're going to cover Rigetti, Seals Q, of course, QBTS, the one, the only. We're going to cover ARQQ, Defiance QTUM ETF, and then we're going to call it a day. So we got a lot to cover. So throw on your favorite green shirt. Let's get into it. Look at this. As some of you might know, I am going to attend D-Waves Conference, Qubits 25, March 31st to April 1st, 2025. And I'm super excited because my friend Will Rich is going to be there. If you don't know who Will Rich is, he owns Stockmate. He's a big uh, stock YouTuber, super sharp guy, has great, great analysis, especially for emerging stocks. In fact, I watched um, some of Will Rich's videos on quantum and his coverage early on got me super interested in quantum, especially when we had the quantum crash. And that's the reason why I decided to make this channel. Um, so hats off to Will. Um, he did um, mention uh, the quantum bull in one of his videos today. I wanted to pull that up and, and show y'all. 25, which is March 31st to April 1st. We already have our plan. I'm actually planning to meet somebody there as well. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the YouTube channel. It's very small. It's just starting to grow. It's called the Quantum Bull. I would encourage you guys to take a look. He started out, uh, his name's Majid, and he started watching our YouTube videos back in December or, or November possibly, and he got really inspired. And I don't know if it was only because our YouTube videos or what have you, but he started the YouTube channel. Maybe you'll see. There he is. Yeah. So happy to share the YouTube channel because he's got high quality information and I would encourage you guys to simply take a look. When it comes Thank you. And if any of you who follow my channel haven't checked out Will Rich, definitely check him out. I'll leave his link in the comments to his channel. Uh, he's a super sharp guy and looking forward to meeting him. Is this the stock market we've been used to seeing? What do we have here? Green, 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 even more green. So even the heat map today, all green. Poor, poor Nike wasn't in on the party, but everyone else was having a fun time. Amazon, Google, Nvidia, Intel, Apple, Microsoft. So many big names had some recovery after a rough week in the market. And it's nice to see. 
We recorded a video earlier this morning and I was a little nervous putting out that video because you never know. And in this market, we've, we've had so much volatility. I was like, Ooh, I don't know if I want to post this. I don't want to, uh, things to go south really quickly, but even the video I posted, things just got even better from there. QBTS posted an insane 47% increase on the day. Are you freaking kidding me? QUBT, still don't know what this company does. Uh, I know they were a soda company at one point. I really need to uh, look into them a little bit more, but even QUBT was up 29%. Our uh, Rigetti, uh, 28%, a strong showing, ended the day at 11 Seals Q, a stock that I've recently opened a position in 21% on the day. They've had a huge move in the last week and a half or two. Ion Q is making a nice recovery. So I think they're above pre-quantum crash levels. We can take a look at the chart and see. And of course we had some other tickers that did well today. So let's go over to the Qs. And so one of the things with the with uh, new investors is I always have them take a look at the RSI band, the indicator, and just see kind of where the buying is happening. So we had a lot of buying early in the morning. We had a gap up, which is a nice gap up. And then we sustained this gap up in that uh, where we opened the market ended up working for us as a support. And even when we had some consumer news that wasn't so hot, which created this spike here or this downward momentum, the cues held and they rallied up and, and held, um, they trip. It looks like a quadruple topped today, um, with a lot of bullish signaling. Let's reset the chart and see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bounces off 479 and we break 479 to end the day. So definitely a bullish indication, a bullish looking chart. And if we back out to five days and we look at tech as a whole, okay, that's a month. We, we see we've been, I'm going to clear all these drawings. So you don't have to see, um, we've been in this downtrend. So it's just really nice to see potentially a reversal. Now there's always so much news happening. We're in a news driven market we could see continued downside, but it was great to see tech and quantum do well today. So let's take a look at the story of the day. QBTS D wave D wave. Let's look at, Oh my gosh, the volume. I thought I saw something like 258 million shares traded of D wave today. My mind is blown. I, I don't even know. I can't comprehend, um, the amount of, of attention that this stock finally got and deservedly so. From close yesterday to today, we had a 48% move on 28.64 million volume, 389 bars. That's uh, pretty insane. Um, we can see that there was a strong gap up, good structure up. There was a little sell off in the middle of the day. I think um, it tested $10, rejected, went down to nine, and then closed the day at $10. So, wow, congratulations to D Wave. Um, I hold a lot of shares of D Wave. I took a, a tiny bit of profit to, today, not, be, not in a bearish way, just in a that's a big increase in, in a short period of time. If we look at uh, the five day chart, this stock has really just mooned. Uh, and, and when stocks move like this, they can be potentially overextended. So we have to keep in mind that quantum is a speculative and risky uh, play. But oh my gosh, look, look at the volume. I mean, it's like insane, the volume that we've been seeing in the last three days. And we just had that one, two punch. And it was just such... Uh, a cool thing to see the research paper released the day before earnings and then the increased guidance. Just amazing. Can't say enough good things about D-Wave right now. What about Rigetti? Rigetti Spaghetti. Let's take a look. So similar price action. We gap up a little bit of sell off in the day and then a really strong push up to $11, which it hasn't seen for quite a while. In fact, 
it would we'd have to go all the way back to a month ago. Um, so what a nice little uh, recovery going on here with Rigetti. LAES, one of my personal favorite cybersecurity quantum plays. In the theme of quantum, what is going to, it doesn't matter really how people feel about quantum when all their personal information is stolen because a quantum computer hacks into their finances or their social media accounts, then demand for companies like ARQQ and SealsQ are gonna go off the charts literally. So we're very early to the game here. We can see that at one point, SealsQ was trading at $10 pre-quantum crash. We can see that QBTS has closed that gap from the quantum crash, it's actually got back to its level that it was sitting at. Now, um, where does it go from here? Where do all these stocks go from here? Well, NVIDIA GTCs next week, we have that huge panel with all these crazy names. That's gonna be a great catalyst for quantum in general. We've talked about this a few times, but this is coming up fast. So we have Jensen from NVIDIA, Jensen Huang from NVIDIA, Alan Bratz from D-Wave. We've got Adam computing there, Microsoft, Qera, Quantum, Ionic, Quantinium, Rigetti, and many more Amazon Web Services. We have the who's who of quantum is getting together at NVIDIA's AI conference in just a few short days. And they're gonna talk about quantum computing, where we are and where we're headed. So super excited for that. Looks like there's gonna be a live stream and you know I'm gonna have my popcorn out and Coco on my lap and we're gonna be watching. Um, and she's probably gonna be quite critical. Um, ARQQ, another cyber security quantum safe play. ARQQ, in late December was trading at $46 and has seen a very, very steep downtrend. And it looks like some volume is coming in and there's a bit of recovery that's following the rest of the quantum theme. Will this continue for ARQQ? Do you have a position yourself in ARQQ? Love to hear your thoughts in the comments for Arkit Quantum. All right, and last stop, on this train today, QTUM, QTUM, the Defiance Quantum ETF. Are you interested in investing in quantum computers, but you're not sure which stock or you're not comfortable with the risk of investing in a single stock? QTUM is probably the best answer for you. So this is a an ETF that holds all of the quantum stocks and some stocks that are outside of it. And inside this ETF, imagine, for example, that you could have bought the QQQ at $70 and it's now trading at $480. So today, the Defiance Quantum ETF is trading at $78. But what do you think it's gonna be trading at in five or 10 years if we keep seeing this explosion and influx of money? So definitely in a position, I'll be establishing more and more as I can um, get some funds into QTUM. All right, y'all, that's all I've got for you. Take this win, enjoy it. For those of you who rode out the storm and it has been storm after storm uh, with this macroeconomic environment, with the quantum crash, celebrate this win and have a great weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll talk to you all soon.